Hey everyone, how you doing? It's been two months already on the road. How many miles have we done, Gary? 4,299. Only if we've done 4,299 miles. We've probably eaten 4,299 <laughs> chicken fillets, haven't we? <laughs> Honestly, it is like man v food around here, which is hence the title, couple v food. Uh, in this episode today, there's uh, three major things that we will be showing you. So first of all, we did something really special for your birthday last week, didn't we? We did. We went to Graceland um, and honestly, it was amazing. Highly recommend it to anyone. Uh, the second thing we did was we went to see the Tina Turner Heritage Museum. That was also brilliant. So it was like two major icons. And then finally, we hit Party Central. Woo! That hit us in the face, didn't it? Just Nashville. So if you're interested in all of that and you want to see our map, it's coming up now. Stay tuned. So last week was a really special week for us, wasn't it, babes? It was. It was Gary's um, final week in the military. He retired after 39 years. And it was also his 55th birthday. So we celebrated in style and went to Graceland. And what did you make of Graceland, babes? It was great because it was more than just the Graceland itself, wasn't it? Because there, was, yeah. there was loads of exhibitions. Um, and the really good one as well is the film set and loads of the loads of the props from the new Elvis film. There was. It was brilliant. And we'd watched the Elvis movie on the way out here, hadn't we, on we the did, flight? Yeah. And there was, um, actually, we did joke about it because Tom Hanks obviously was wearing padding for his film. So his costume was quite, like, chubby. And I was like, oh, do you reckon we could squeeze into that <laughs> um, after all our eating? Which is what you'll see in the next clip. So we went to Gladys's diner and we also went to Marlowe's for dinner to celebrate and we got picked up in a very nice car. The famous Gladys's Diner. Uh, look how cute this is. And so we managed to get the Cadillac seat while we sat. i show you the inside of the diner. Happy birthday. And look at these. We've got these really fantastic sort of like payment options and stuff but it's been made into a, a jukebox it's really clever and these are pump stations for paying and stuff isn't it great i'm gonna try peanut butter and banana sandwich for the first time and um, so we've ordered it in gladys diner so you're gonna have half and i'm gonna have half i'll have the smaller one this is our first time trying it i've never in my whole life thought i'd eat this um okay that's it's cold. <laughs> it's cold because we had to wait for ages. Oh my god, it's disgusting. <laughs> Why would you eat that? I'm not really good on that. It really sticks to the roof of your mouth. I'm sure this is a good one if you're having one, but in my opinion, thank god we got some chicken tenders as well. <laughs> restaurant now it looks really amazing and the taxi driver was fantastic here we go gary at marlowe's happy 55th Bab. so this is like such a nice restaurant look there's loads of memorabilia and they're playing great music as well oh which is fantastic. they're playing elvis aren't they yeah are you having the best birthday ever babe it's awesome what a day today's been so right. Graceland was such a surprise. Yeah. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. It was an amazing night, wasn't <laughs> it? It was a fantastic night. So we then headed off to Nashville and we stopped off on the way at a place called Brownsville. And that's where Tina Turner was born. And there's this place called the Delta Heritage Centre. And so it's not just a Tina Turner museum. There's also lots of other little bits and pieces that were inside the Heritage Centre. But just outside of Brownsville is Nutbush. And you probably heard the song Nutbush. It wasn't quite what we were expecting. Um, was it, Gary? It was a bit... <laughs> no. Outhouse, hen house, schoolhouse, gin house <laughs> are about the only four buildings in the entire town. So the song couldn't have been any longer. <laughs> That's, that is exactly what it was like. Not to knock it, because we still enjoyed the experience, didn't we? It was we? good, it was. But it was literally just on the Highway 19, which is the Tina Turner Highway. There was nothing else there, was there, <laughs> other than this thing. So anyway, we'll show you it. But if you're wondering why, there's just a little clip of it, because that, literally that's it. Um, but we also, in the Delta Heritage Centre, trust us, there was something in there that we weren't expecting to see. So we've got this great little place outside 
Welcome to Nutbush, Tennessee, birthplace of Tina Turner. It seems to be um, a little bit quiet other than that, doesn't it, babes? Yeah. There's not really much going on other than that. But I didn't know, Gary, you were actually security for <laughs> Tina Turner's concert <laughs> in Berlin, weren't you? I was, yeah. Yes, I was. Oh, my gosh. Now, that's quite impressive, babes. He kept that to himself, everyone. He, he hides his light under a bushel, he does. Under a nut bushel. <laughs> so, aside from the Tina Turner uh, Museum, there's also the West Tennessee Cotton Museum. That's quite an interesting little thing. I didn't even know how cotton grew, but it seems to me that it grows like this. That's brilliant. Such a lot to see, but just outside... You'll see there's a big wall full of maps, brochures, bits and pieces. And of course, there's Tina Turner here. Oh, we just love her. I don't even know how this happens, but we found more taxidermy stuff. This is a taxidermy, what is it, Babs? It's an alligator snapping turtle. Oh my gosh, what's, what, why is that tongue like that? That's really weird. Yeah, it's got, so it's a long, thin tongue to, yeah. to imitate like a worm. And that attracts the prey. So like big fish will come and try and get that worm. And actually what they're doing is they're swimming into its mouth and it clamps down. And Oh, you wouldn't want to be clamped down in there, would you? That looks quite vicious, actually, to be honest. So this is Tina Turner's childhood school, Flag Grove School. And it was actually moved here in 2012 from Nutbush, where we've just been. And they they literally upended the whole thing. It was in pretty good condition by all accounts, mainly because it had been stuffed full of straw bales, so it hadn't succumbed to damp. As you come in, it's brilliant. There's some outfits of Tina's. Oh, I love it. It's great. Oh, this is fabulous. If you're on the way um, to Nashville or you're on the way to Memphis, I do recommend that you just pop into here. It's a great little heritage place. And they don't ask for much. They don't ask for anything. Um, but obviously, it'd be lovely to give a donation. I don't know what it is with us and taxidermy <laughs> stuff. There's just loads of it all over the place, isn't there? There's... Anyway... So we then headed up to Nashville, and if you haven't already seen our Cowboy Calamity video, it's out now. Um, we bought some cowboy boots on the way, but we did get to Nashville, and we went to Opryland. <laughs> we did, We yes. did. So that, that afternoon, we arrived in the afternoon, we went to Opryland, and we did a bit of shopping. I was a bit surprised in the camping shop, you know, there's guns for sale everywhere, so a bit of a warning, there is guns in this video, and there is alcohol in this video, so if you are uh, faint of hearted, please switch off now, but still like, press like. Um, <laughs> then the next day, we went downtown, didn't we? Yes. Well, we couldn't get a taxi for love nor money in the morning, uh, you know, well, literally, we could get it for money in the end, it was $45 to get a taxi, because there were no Ubers, no lifts, no nothing available, and we were thinking, and this is really weird gets in taxi driver says oh you do know it's a taylor swift concert tonight and we were like no it's absolutely rammed downtown is it you couldn't move for people even, like the shops are really ornate so we're in like the hunting shop was it the bass pro or something we're in in it look at this hunting opoly <laughs> these mooses a deer are they oh yeah well actually i think they are look at them look at the price <laughs> they are dear you're right what are they for look, they're decoys what do you mean? So, so what you do is if you're a deer hunter, a yeah. elk hunter, yeah. you get one of these, you stick it in the field, you go and hide, and you wait for another, a real elk oh, or a real deer joking. to come and check it out, and then you take it out. Oh no. Oh, my, aren't they a bit small? Not really. Why, why would they attract somebody? Because of the shape and the look. Oh, so they've made them deliberately attractive. Yeah. Oh, little honey traps these are. I've really <laughs> seen guns for sale before. There's loads in this Bass Pro. Oh, look at that poor rabbit. He's seen the wrong end of a rifle. Have we seen the firearms? That's it. I've lost him. Well, I've got. How I've much got are the they? Boots. Oh, gosh, they're a bit cheap, really, aren't yeah, they? Well, considering what they are. 2 59 Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's so many of them. Check this out. It's actually an underwater dining adventure. I just thought it was an aquarium. Seems a bit mean on the old fish, doesn't it? So let's have a look at the prices. Calamari for a start-up. Sounds lovely. $16.99. Oh, it's not cheap. Shrimp cocktail. Oh, I'm a bit 80s. I love a bit of prawn cocktail. $18.99. Oh, you're paying for the view, aren't you? Oh, 
Ooh, it looks pretty good though. Yeah. In this moonshine place to try some stuff. And I'm just about to try one of these little moonshines. God, it's really strong. It tastes like medicine. It's a little tasting bar thing. This guy's going to give me, which flavour was it again? Buttermilk. Butter cake. Butter cake, right. Let's try this one. Oh, oh. Up is our it's really so sweet. To cross. Can we cross now, Gary? Yeah, can we? we? Cross now. Look how busy this is. It is manic. Oh, Taylor Swift, they love you. Look at all this. There's so many people. So, anyway, there's the honky tonk. Sounds good. It's loads of bits. It's really buzzing. Oh, Legends Cafe. But everything's really full. There's so many people. We're in Nashville, guys. We're in Nashville. It's got a fist bump, Elvis. Yeah, it's got to be done. Out that this is a party town. This is going to take that away. Look at the pedals having no chance. Oh, they're having a great time. I'd be really lazy and not be pedaling. Whatever next. And so we're right outside of Miranda Lambert's place. Oh gosh. I mean, we're quite big country fans, to be fair. It looks amazing, but everywhere. Is rammed. This is mental, isn't it, Gary? Oh, look at that cowboy boot up there. It's not as nice as yours, Gary. I don't want you taking it back and doing that all again. We're uh, just off the the Broadway Street, and this is really lovely. There's like a, a riverfront walk just by the Nissan Stadium. But my gosh, it's pumping down there. I've had to come out of here just to sort of. Get a breather, haven't we, babe? Oh, it's nice to get out of that crowd. Uh, I know. Well, we didn't bring the motorhome down here, thank goodness, because Gary was thinking, oh, we'll park outside the Nissan Stadium. There's a car park there and RVs for, for $5. Thank goodness we didn't do that, babe. I'm going to write now. Cheers, everyone. Love you all. A great time. However, something did happen while we were out. We went into one of the bars. It was in uh, Jason Aldean's bar, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. And we were told, your credit card's been blocked. We were like, what? So that was a nightmare, wasn't it? It was. So basically what happens here is you're expected to give the credit card to the server who then takes it away mm -hmm. to do whatever they need to do with it. And mm -hmm. then they bring it back to you and you do it. Well, it's not the same in the UK. We like to keep our credit cards with us. In this particular instance, after a bit of investigation, it, it turns out that the bar we'd been to beforehand, mm -hmm. they had not only taken the bill payment, but they'd also tried to put another payment on it and the yeah. bank had sussed that out as being fraudulent which it was mm -hmm. and cancelled the credit card so yeah that was a bit of a nightmare to get sorted out it was an utter nightmare so we we kind of cut it short because we, we were in a situation where we were thinking right we need to solve this yeah. um and it took us a few hours that evening to resolve the situation it didn't put a massive dampener on it um and to be honest i'd, I'd had enough by then because it was really rammed yes. and you know i'd had a good dance my legs were killing me <laughs> i don't know who i thought i was but i was up there having a right old dance wasn't i but you own. were good babe. i was a mover <laughs> You know, I might be 53, but I can still move, but not the next day, obviously. Um, that's it for this week, um, apart from to tell you what we're doing next week. So we're heading up to Knoxville. And if anyone knows where, what's around that area, it's Dolly Parton's place. We're going to Dolly World. I can't wait. <laughs> this is the biggest thing I've been looking forward to. Those of you that are a Dolly Parton fan like me, you don't want to miss next week's uh, episode. So make sure that you subscribe. Ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling, that bell. But whatever you do, make sure you have a great week. We'll see you next time. Love you loads. Ta-ra.